I'm about to show you one of the most underrated passing concepts in trips tied in. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button. I do videos every day to help people become better Madden players. That way you get actually notified whenever we release new ones. Now, we're in trips tied in in the Detroit Lions playbook. You can find this in New England. I've got ebooks on both of those playbooks in my Patreon, patreon.com slash Cody Ballard. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you want to sign up, head down to the description below. You can click the link down below. And today I'm talking about the drive post play. I think this is the most underrated play in trips tied in. I think it has the most underrated routes in trips tied in. And I think that if you actually utilize this play to its fullest potential, it allows you to attack a different side of the field than most people are accustomed to attacking with the trip side information, specifically as it pertains to zone coverage. Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the PA counter go play as an audible to show you something with this, but drive post, and we're just going to walk you through this. So we're going to want to have our trips to the wide side of the field, okay, to our, to our wide side of the field. Now, if I run PA counter go, and I run this concept right here. This is a very good concept. Um, this is basically Y cross and a little with a little bit of a nuance to it. Uh, but anyways, uh, what people like to do is they're going to base a line and press their um, their corners. Okay. When they do this, this outside quarter is going to be able to actually defend that route whenever he is base aligned. If he's not baseline, as you just saw, I can throw that crosser and be very successful with this. Okay, I can throw that crosser and be very successful with it. So just to illustrate, this guy would be kind of out here more. Um, and what you'll notice, again, this streak, it won't clear out the zone. It doesn't matter if it's crosser or it's drive post or show two. You see how he plays it. See how he's in the area, he's going to play the, play the route. So what, what good defenses are doing, especially with dollar being a very big time meta right now, where you could just base the line and press stuff, is they're basically going to the strategy, and now they don't have to defend the tight end corner route to that side, which I'll show in another second. And this crosser actually was open there, but I'm telling you, it's actually not open a lot, um, especially if I'm short side. But if I was to run like PA slot corner, Right, this is another good man-beating concept. If I don't have a, if I don't have anything to clear out this route, you see that the quarter is going to guard it. Okay, every single time. So drive post allows us the ability to put um, our slot receiver in an interesting position to be able to flood zone really well to the right side of the field. Trips tight end is very equipped to flood to the trip side. Right, we could do something like this. Um, you know, some kind of setup that looks like this with PA slot corner. And it's very hard to guard this to the left side of the screen. You're going to see here the corner route's going to get open. And because of our clear out streak. Drive post with the short side motion is going to do that for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our outside receiver on a smart routed in route. I think that's a really important route for this play. We're going to then take our inside receiver, uh, Chris Godwin, and we're going to put him on an out route or a zig route that's up to you okay and then i'm gonna take jones and streak him but i'm gonna motion him i'm not gonna motion him to the right i'm gonna motion him to the left and you're gonna see that that's gonna put him in this little closer tighter spot um in this formation what this allows me to do and i can put my running back on an out route a block and release route whatever a swing um you know you can do whatever you want with the running back honestly you don't even have you don't have to send him out either but I really like the out route or the table route. Okay. So what's going to happen is this baseline pressed cover four that was giving us trouble at flooding the right side of the field. You're going to notice here that that quarter is going to get sucked with the streak. And now my corner route is wide open. This is really important because what this forces your opponent to do. They have to play hard flats to stop the running back. They have to play hard flats to stop the running back. If you didn't know by now, cloud flats are really bad um, if they are pressed. They're really bad. So you can't really play a cloud flat over there. It almost kind of makes this concept really hard to defend. Because if I'm in cover two, and let's say I'm double flatting, double mabling, it doesn't matter if that cloud flat is a 30-yard cloud flat. If it's pressed, if it is pressed up, 
it literally cannot get back there to defend the corner. You'll see right here, um, this guy, the, the corner route just gets on top of the cloud way too fast. It's a high ball, and it gets wide open over the top. So the beauty of this is it makes it really hard for them to defend this in zone. What they basically have to do is they have to back off this corner. So they have to basically take this corner, they're based on impressive, but they got to put him back in here. Now what this allows is it allows us to go to the play PH slot corner and we're going to get a free release so we don't have to worry about motion this guy all the way across the formation. And now we have this deeper corner route that is going to get over the top of pretty much every zone in the game as well, as you can see right there. So this is how you can kind of scheme with these corner routes to get yourself some pretty good separation. Another thing that this allows us to do from a passing perspective is it allows us to really space the field um, in a horizontal way because we have this backside dig all the way from the backside, right? So we can have the out route here. We've got this, this concept on the right side, so the zones are going to be fanning out on both sides. The out routes are going to pull these zones out of the way. And then now we have this backside dig coming in behind the zones as well. So if you think about it, if they're setting up some type of double Mabel where they're dropping, um, you know, they're dropping these these zones super far back on the defense, which is very likely. Now these these deep zones open up a ton of space for me now to be able to attack with this dig route. Um, and then I also have this like corner route right off the rip. You'll see here this corner route can kind of get open right in that little seam there. But really the main read would be that dig route over on the left side. Not to mention we haven't got to man coverage just yet. But this is also a really good play for man to man. You have a quick out route to a guy that probably is going to have short and lead on your offense. So if he's open, take that out route every single time. Um, if that out route's not open, I can almost guarantee you that this um, this route to Mike Evans is going to get open and the corner route's going to get open. So you have simple reads against every coverage in the game. Corner or man coverage, I can throw that in route really, really easily. And then if I have short and elite, it makes it a little easier to throw this tight end corner. But even if I don't have short and elite, this tight end corner is really good. I will say this um, this alignment for this slot receiver Jones, if they're playing press man, that could be a potential, it could be open against man. Um, they bump a lot, and then you have that right there. So this is a very simple play, but it gets so much accomplished for trips tight end and allows you to attack the sidelines um, on both sides of the field. So I really like this play a lot. If you want to learn the entire trip side in offense, make sure you join our Patreon. The link's in the description. Thanks for watching the video. Remember, Patreon members get access to everything, all ebooks, including trip side in. We're dropping a brand new ebook later this week. So if you want to get access to all that stuff, make sure you become a Patreon member today. The link is down in the description. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.